Hey everybody, Keith K here, and uh, today we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do a few episodes on Minecraft. I'm not sure how far I will go, but um, I wanted to share some of my early game setup and uh, tips and tricks for any new players. Um, and uh, I'm not sure how far we'll go. We'll see. I'm coming up on uh, some holiday time off, and I'm definitely going to be playing some more video games. So in between getting additional Stranded Deep um, tutorials and maybe a green hell out. Uh, I wanted to do some Minecraft. Um, I know I'm sure some of you are much better at Minecraft than I am, but I uh, thought this could be a little bit of fun. So we will create a new world and we'll just call this Keith's World. Awfully original, I know. And uh, we'll get started. When I um, always... Uh, start a new Minecraft game, uh, especially if I'm doing something uh, like a family server, I often play with the kids. Um, we will always uh, build some sort of a spawn point mini base before we set out uh, and do some adventuring and, and look for a better spot for a permanent base. So uh, I won't go too far. This looks like a little inlet or yeah, this could be a good place to set up here. Um, good options for farming and such potentially. Hopefully there's some livestock around, but let's just get started here. A lot of times uh, in the family we call it the spawn point in. So, you know, we kind of get a mini base set up and then figure out where our permanent base is and we'll have, you know, some sort of a road or even a rail system out to the uh, permanent base so that if new folks join or if for some reason, you know, one of us uh, dies after destroying a um, our bed uh, after resetting a spawn point. You know, it's easy to, to find our way back. So let's get started here. We're going to need a crafting table. And we're going to need an axe. We'll spend a little bit of time on that. Let's do about half that. Uh, I'll be clearing here for a bit, and then we will look for a place to set up as a shelter. Uh, early on, I won't necessarily um, build an above ground shelter. You know, I'll look for, like a lot of uh, players do, look for a good hillside that I can uh, burrow into, so to speak, uh, and wait out the first several nights until we're able to get a bed set up. So, you know, if you are playing this uh, for the first time or you haven't, you know, played a lot of Minecraft, don't go wandering off too far would be my advice. Um, you know, you've got to find shelter by the end of the night. Or sorry, by the end of the day before night sets in. And uh, I actually don't go far at all. I just will look around the spawn point, uh, get a small base going, a little bit of farming and uh, a shelter, and then we'll look for our permanent base. So I'll probably try to keep these to 15 minutes. I think 15 minutes will get us to the end of the day, I believe. Um, but we'll see. For now, I'm going to get a little more wood, and then we'll, uh, we'll look for a place to shelter. Hopefully, some of these will drop an apple for us. Um, we may not set up a farm day one. Actually, you know what? Maybe we will. Let me figure out where our shelter is going to be, and I might just get three plants going. Okay, if you see what's going on here, whenever you've got trees that are touching, uh, it can inhibit the despawning um, of the tree that you just finished chopping down. And like I said, we're trying to hopefully get some apples out of this. So it's worth... And you should never really <laughs> uh, dig or cut straight down, but that was more safe than doing it while we're tunneling. Let's bring this with us. Let's see. As I walk around early game, I'll just smash any of the grass that I come across looking for seeds. That'll give us the opportunity to get a farm set up when we need it. All right, let's see here. I mean, that's a good hill over there, but we've got to cross water. 
you know, if we end up clearing this space out, whoa, look at that. Some of the spawns lately are just crazy. Look at that. That world is, this world is pretty bizarre. Um, yeah, so we don't want to go too far. All right, so we've got some sheep here. As soon as we have some iron, we can get some shears. All right, so yeah, I'm thinking this hill is probably the place that we can dig into to start. Let's see, yeah, because we're over here. So this would be a good spot. Um, do we want to? Question is going to be where are we going to set up our farming area? And if we set it up here, will we want to go in? Well, yeah, but that doesn't really extend that far. All right, so I don't know what we're going to do with um, this water. We might end up filling it in, but let's assume that we're going to go here. This will be our entrance to our early game shelter. So let's clear some of this out. Now we do need to worry about light when we first set up because uh, if we're in the dark then of course the zombies and skeletons can spawn in there with us or any other mob for that matter um, I believe. So we do want to make sure that we get a furnace built and um, burn up some of these logs to make charcoal. So you don't want to wait until the last minute. All right, so let's get ourselves, let's get these out of the way. Uh, I feel like organizing takes so much of this game uh, time up, honestly. All right, so let's see. We are going to need a shovel and a pickaxe. Now, wood uh, tools, of course, uh, last the least. Um, and I uh, probably shouldn't have made two of those pickaxes, but you will need to make an initial set of tools um, out of dirt. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> out of wood. Uh, cleaning out this dirt, so of course that's what I said. Um, where's the center? Go approximately in there. And they won't last. You can see they'll wear down pretty quickly, in fact. Um, we'll want to move up to stone tools and eventually to iron uh, as quick as we can, but we've got to start somewhere, so we've got the wood. Um, all right, we're going to go in right here. Okay, and we've got some of the andesite and granite, uh, which are nice decorative blocks, but that's not what we want. We need to be able to make a furnace. So we need stone. So this is kind of annoying, actually, that this is what's here first. But it's fine. We'll deal with it, because here's our stone. We're going to need nine to get a furnace built. So let's see here. We're going to come in and go two and oh, well, maybe not quite two. All right. So let's just uh, clean this up here a little bit. And um, I always like to go a little bit more than necessary uh, just to see if there's any coal that comes up. Um, but we didn't see any coal here, so we're going to go ahead and get our furnace built. And we'll put that down. And then we need to get some charcoal going, so we're going to burn up 10 of these oak logs. Um, now, I think, 
Yeah, you can use oak logs themselves or you can use your planks. You can actually burn your saplings too. If you've got tons and tons of saplings, that can get annoying having so many. Um, so you can burn those up. But we'll just let that go for a little bit. Um, yeah. And make sure I pick up anything that's despawned. We'll just get ourselves some more wood before we have to go into the shelter for the night. Let's see, I got some chickens over there. Maybe harvest them later on. Okay, so the sun's going down. Oh, perfect, we got at least one apple. So we do have some food for the night. Um, we're gonna have to get into our shelter um, before the mobs come out. We have no armor. And at this point, I don't even have any weapons, although I can use that ax. Let's just grab these little bits. And we want to get in there before the um, furnace shuts off. Whoops. Let's just seal up our door. Um, Here. Yeah, that should be kind of safe. All right, so you can see we've got some charcoal and that's going to burn out. So we'll take our charcoal with a stick. We've got some torches now. Um, door is here. So let's see. Uh, we'll just clean this up a little more. Okay, and I'm gonna want to have a couple of stone pickaxes. Those are gonna work a lot better for us. So we can always burn these wooden tools later as fuel if we need to. Um, let's go ahead and make our first weapon, which will be the stone sword. So that might not be something we need for that long. Um, but I like to have um, a stone sword anyways. Um, I usually use that when I'm harvesting my animals uh, once I get farming going full speed. So now we've got to make our uh, we've got to make it through the night and until we get a bed built, just so we can sneak in here and then pop back out. Um, I think what I'll do is just dig down. I like to go two. I know some people will go one um, and just start going down as far as they can. Uh, I like to go two just honestly to get more materials. All right, so I'm going to speed it up here and we'll come back if we find something interesting. Once we've gone down a little bit, I will, you know, every so often do some branch mining off to the sides here just to see. Let's see, one, two, three. I usually go five and then put a torch. I usually go no more than, what's that? One, two, three, four, four, five. Uh, usually we'll go no more than five in or ten in sorry just to see what's there so at least I know there is some is that diorite yeah I know there's some diorite down here 
Uh, that's one of my more favorite stones as far as looks for building buildings. Five and five. Um, but just to see if uh, you know we hear any uh, mob noises, if we run into any um, seams of coal or iron, might even go out a few. Kind of make a little chamber here. At the end of the day, what we're really looking for here is not so much the stone, but um, you know we want to find. We definitely don't need more dirt, but let's just cut through this to see what's here. You know, we want to find a cave system, uh, potentially one that goes down the lava. Right, that's where we're going to find the best um, resources. So I don't have a stone shovel. Um, one of the things you can do also is off these branch mines, let's kind of go in, and right, we're looking for. Uh, coal seams or um, iron. Iron would be ideal. So you can see if you go every uh, every other one here, you'll you won't miss anything that's in between, right? So if you just go every other one and then go back however far you want, right? I'll typically go ten. You'll basically have exploited this entire um, branch to see if there's any resources worth grabbing. But I'm not going to make you go, go through all that. So this would be 10, and that's 11. So typically, Okay, so we hear that, we hear a, a skeleton, I think. Let's take this back across. So that's something we could explore. We could uh, kind of go back and forth until we find that skeleton. Um, you know, dig down, run some branches. Uh, we won't do that right now though. I think we do want to keep continue going down, uh, honestly. So right about here, maybe. And as soon as we hit that earth, I'm going to need to run up. Oh, and we've got gravel. So gravel will be useful. I definitely want to dig into that, but we need to make another shovel. So let's head back to the top. And you know the skeleton we're hearing could actually be outside. We're not down that far. All right, uh, we're back. Had a little bit of a technical difficulty there. Um, so let's see, we definitely have lots down there and a little bit more time to go. Um, so let's make sure we've got plenty of tools. And I usually will stack them on top of each other. Let's see here. Yeah, there's still plenty out there to get us. Oh, what am I doing? We don't want to stack those here. That's my usual setup there. Sticks and planks and then logs. Um, so let's get back to it down here. Keep heading down. And really, you know, we're, we're primarily killing time, um, waiting for the sun to come up. But we do want to try to find uh, iron, right? Because that's going to give us better tools, it's going to allow us to build some armor, uh, would also be thrilled to find any coal that we might run across. Now, let's see, um, I often will ex excavate most of the gravel I come across, primarily looking for flint so that we can build arrows, uh, but we don't have a chicken farm up and running yet, so not something we need to worry about too much. 
we just keep heading down. Often on the first day, this will just be unfinished, and uh, I may have found some coal if I was lucky, or maybe some some iron, but probably not a lot. All right, let's see. All right, the sun is up. Although I thought I heard a skeleton. Yeah, or that was probably an Enderman there. Let's see. So I would say it's probably time to get ourselves our spawn point, point farm going. Oops, how did that happen? Ended up on a shovel. This area here looks like a good spot to build out a little bit of a farm without having to go too nuts. I don't feel like climbing up into the tree. Get that one straightened out, another one here. Um, or maybe we will. Let's see. Let's just level this out. Not really necessary, but just, I always feel the need to tidy up. Um, yeah, between tidying up and uh, organizing the inventory, uh, that's where I spend a lot of time playing Minecraft. Let's see. <clears throat> so I would, I want to square this up a little bit. We go one, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that'll work. And four is how far away from a water source you can irrigate <clears throat> uh, with a farm. And here I'm mostly just, now I'm actually just collecting some sand. Make it consistent. All right, so let's see how far out do we want? can we come? We'll start filling this in. I did not mean to do that. All right, and let's see. So you will find that I build lots of crafting tables. I just put them anywhere I need them. Um, they're so cheap to build. Now we're gonna go ahead and build ourselves a hoe, uh, which is just two sticks and then two stone, or you can use iron or even diamond if it would kind of be a waste, but you could. Um, so like I was saying, <clears throat> Can irrigate four from your water source so I'll probably make a walkway here and then we can go one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four now of course we've also got four from this direction too but um, for now you know this this will do we'll just go four off this edge and This is really just my spawn point farm. Ah, I didn't want that. So that won't, um, I mean, you could run back and forth on it. It might actually go back to grass, but I'll just take it up. It'll be a little quicker this way. Um, and you'll see when I build my permanent farm, I'll 
do it a little bit differently because it won't necessarily be right up uh, next to a water source, but you'll see that as these spend time, <clears throat> as time goes by, they will actually irrigate. And you're going to want to shift and walk um, once you go out onto the farm because if you don't, if you run back and forth on it, it won't always be true, but occasionally um, you'll actually destroy the the farm block um, and it'll turn back to dirt uh, and uh, you know it's easy enough to fix but um, kind of annoying now again if this weren't the spawn point uh, location I would would probably put a fence around this you know uh, it does keep some of the mobs out it's maybe a little more just aesthetic um, so, but let's go ahead and build We'll just build a few, I want a few fence posts. Um, especially over here. So maybe right here and then we can put a torch right on top of it. Uh, I don't know if this has changed, but I know originally you definitely needed to have um, a light source if you wanted to keep them growing through the night. So you could get them to grow a little bit longer, um, or a little bit faster by having them grow at night if there was a, a light source nearby. So we'll just put some of these up. Uh, we'll probably never fill this up actually. Uh, I just want to get enough of a farm going that we could um, you know, survive off of this, get some supplies if we needed to for a short period of time before heading back. Uh, before heading out to explore, I should say. Woohoo! Um, kind of bouncing all over the place here. All right. So, uh, day two, we'll leave this where it is. We've got our farm started. Um, I will be running around off camera. Um, I won't do too much, but I will probably get a bunch of grass looking for wheat seed, try to get some more wheat seed planted. There we go. There's one at least. And um, might do a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of organizing. Uh, we'll come back here. And probably day three, we'll come back. I'll have, uh, I'll cut these down, clean this up a little bit, uh, clean up our mine, and uh, get us to the point where we could head out to look for our, um, our permanent, a good location for our permanent base. Uh, so that should do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Um, please do consider subscribing to the channel and give it give the video a like if you want to see more of these. And um, you know, like I said, I will probably go through the point at which I've got um, a base set up and uh, farms running. Um, we'll see how much further we go from there, depending on uh, how much interest there is. So. As always, thanks for watching. Appreciate your time and uh, see you back here soon. Take care.